Hi, my August 9th birthday babies. Come on in, because this video is all about you. Today, from the Secret Language of Birthdays book, I'm going to read the personality profile for people born on your birthday, and I'm going to give you a little advice for after the video. And this is the first video in which I am going to be reading the meditation from the book because I just took a peek at it and it is so powerful that I have to squeeze it in. Let's get into it. All right, August 9th is the day of psychological leverage. Those born on August 9th can be a tower of strength for those dependent on them. Excellent team players, they give definition to any group endeavor in which they are involved. Though certainly gratified by positions of leadership, those born on this day do not necessarily indulge in their egos at the expense of the common good. Fighters, they are usually on the side of the average man whose psychology they understand well. August 9th people know what makes others tick. As students of human character, they are not only adept to sizing people up, but know how to approach them and when necessary, convince them of what is best for everyone concerned in the situation. Thus, they have many ideas about how people may best enjoy their lives, how they can get what they need, and how they can best proceed politically or socially. Therefore, those born on this day can sometimes be too generous with their advice as well as too controlling and dominating. They must allow more for others to decide what is best for themselves. August 9th people are not only good persuaders, able to win others over to their side, but feel a great measure of responsibility for those who follow their advice or come under their wing. This accountability to others can extend to almost any sector of life in which their influence comes to bear. Finance, morals, recreation, education. Education partic particularly interests many born on August 9th who give thought to methods of learning and how they may be improved or refined. Again, August 9th people must avoid intruding on the lives of those who would perhaps prefer to be left to their own devices. With their well-developed opinions and forceful personalities, August 9th people often exert undue influence on those they come into contact with, even casually. August 9th people rarely give up or admit defeat once they have embarked on a project. They usually find their principal area of interest early in life and stick to it with great tenacity. Most born on this day make devoted parents and family members, but if forced by death or circumstance to re remarry, they will give their love again a second time without reserve. At times, August 9th people are capable of being insensitive to the needs of those they love in that they may think they know what is best before giving their ear to requests or suggestions. Okay, Google, I got it. Sorry about that. It is very important that those born on this day have a trusted friend who can warn them when they get off track. Because August 9th people are powerfully influenced, they tend to take a number of people with them when they take a wrong turn or make mistakes in their behavior or thought. All right. Interesting reading. Um, I want to get to the advice and the meditation. I'm sure that was a lot for you to um, let soak in. Let's get to the advice. What you believe to be true for the welfare of others is not always for the best. Remember the power of your words have to control. Remember the power your words have to hurt and control. Therefore, beware of undue influence on the lives of others. Learn to listen carefully. And now for the meditation. I'm not exactly sure how it ties in to everything in your profile, except for the fact that you are a human being and you have a conscious mind and you have a subconscious mind. So listen to the meditation. Some people do their best work sleeping. Again, some people do their best work sleeping. If you haven't yet connected with your dreams and with sleep state and the power 
that they can have in your life. If there's something that in your waking life, in your conscious mind, you can't get a grasp on, let it go. Let it go and surrender it to your dreams, surrender it to the universe while you're sleeping, and you might just be surprised. You might just get an answer, you might just get the answer that your conscious mind wasn't able to grasp, but your subconscious mind and connected to the entire universe, all the possibilities out there that you can't possibly comprehend, they may give you the answer, they may give you the messages, and you may begin to do better work than you do when you're awake. Mm. You guys enjoy that because that was the first meditation I gave. I connect so deeply with this. I'm going to be doing a lot of other videos on sleep and on dream work and the power of surrendering and yeah, let that marinate. Thank you guys for watching. If you are watching on your actual birthday, cheers to you. Mm. Happy birthday. And if you know someone whose birthday is coming up, comment below so that I can give them a shout out on their video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.